We woke up with the sun and the team got busy making brekkie, which happened to be one of my favourites, bacon and egg rolls. Following another ripper meal, the team packed up the gear and vans and weaved their way back to the main highway. Not everyone on the trip gets to enjoy the luxury of the Red Centre caravans. Rainey's riding along with Judy in the Hatter and is using one of the swags provided by Aussie Traveller. Last night you had a beautiful cool breeze coming through and yeah, it's just a, a magic, magic way to be able to fall asleep in, in the Great Australian Outback in a swag. We were on our way to the WA border and it was all going so well, until it wasn't. Well, they came out here to test and we said it from the outset. This morning we got up, left camp, not a problem, but just down the road, Dean's Oasis got a little brake problem. They kept locking up on him. So we pulled over on the side of the road, we'll sort of out. I'd imagine it's probably a little bit of air in the brake line, but we'll catch up with Dean in a minute once it's sorted out and find out what happened. Ripper spot for some R&D, mate. What did you find in there? <laughs> It looks like we might have had an airlock in the brake system. So things do happen on the road. As we said, things happen, we'll film it because nothing's ever perfect, but just got under there, bled the brakes up. We'll see how we go. It could lock up again on us. Luckily, it was when we're pulling off onto some dirt. So it's, to me, it sounds like a bit of air in the system, but we'll see how we go. And now, the beauty of the system is that it actually works really smoothly. The brakes work the same as the brakes do on your car, where sometimes the electric drum brakes can get a bit grabby when you get into town, where this is actually a really smooth system but you can get a little problem once in a while, but not hard to fix. I guess the note of it is to take, if you're gonna come out to these remote places, know a bit about your caravan, know the systems, and know how they work, because things can go wrong, and you may have to fix things on the side of the road. You can't all bring Dean with you, you'll have to do it yourself. So, with some maintenance on the brake lines, Dean and family had us back on the road heading to the border. Not exactly Checkpoint Charlie, but there are some rules you need to follow, so we made a quick stop. We're on the Victoria Highway between Catherine and Kununurra, about 60 k's from the Western Australian border. Now, when you get to the border, there's a quarantine station there and they're gonna check you. Can't take fruit, can't take veggie, can't take stuff like honey, there's a whole list of them. So we've pulled up here, we'll go through our fridges, get rid of everything we can't take. We've tried to eat it all in the last couple of days, but we've still got a few dregs around. We'll get rid of them here and we'll head for the border. See you there. As long as you're doing the right thing, it's a pretty easy process and a pleasant welcome to Western Australia. Oh, onion peels, yes. Yeah, we can take that for you, love. What do you want to look in here? Just your fridge. Oh, yeah, all just travelling together, are you? Yeah, we're doing some filming for what's up down under the TV show. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I'm the meat man. Other than my large collection of meat, nothing caught their eye except the Oasis and its BM Pro system. So here's Dean to give us all a closer inspection of the Oasis and BM Pro. 